Hey, what's up? Um, so this is my first tutorial on this channel. Mainly wanted to show you how you can create your own um, AI video animation time lapse, whatever you want to call it, using the Estria website. It's a very user friendly website. Uh, I came to know it quite recently and I'm having a lot of fun um, using it for different purposes. Uh, I'm gonna focus mainly on uh, how to create your own model, train it basically, um, very easy using this website and also creating like uh, a video afterwards. So let's dive right in. Okay, so here we are on the Astria website. You need to be logged in and of course uh, have some credits in order to start moving. And uh, in order to start the process, what I'm doing is I'm pressing the start creating button. In this part, uh, we're going to train a model. For this, uh, I will need to give this uh, model a name. So I'm going to call it Chica. Class name, I need to explain uh, what it is. Basically, everything besides a style refers to an object. Let's say a man, a woman, a kid, a boy, a girl, a dog, we'll just give it uh, the name of the object and a style is something else. Right now we're gonna focus on an object. So I'm going to define that this is a dog. And now I'm going to upload the files uh, which I'm going to use. Uh, it can be anything between 4 images to about uh, 30 images, it can be even more. The best is uh, if they're from different uh, periods, different cameras, times, uh, different lightings, anything that makes them uh, versatile. Okay, so here are the images. I'm gonna upload them. And now I'm gonna press create. Okay, so right now the model is being trained. And as soon as it's ready, it usually takes something between 45 minutes to 90 minutes, sometimes less, sometimes more. I'll get notified through the mail once the model is ready. So uh, I'll pause the video and we'll continue from there. Alrighty, so I just got a mail saying that uh, the model is ready. Let's see what we've got here. Hmm, nice. These are basically different prompts that uh, Astria automatically makes after you prepare a model. So now I'm going to show you how you can uh, create a video. So I'm going to put uh, general text here, which is used in this case, and uh, I'm going to put it in the description of the video. So you can just copy and paste it into the text box and change it according to the model you've trained and according to the style you're looking for or whatever you want to see in the image. So I'm pasting it inside. These parameters are just a few of many, many parameters which you can put inside, which will influence uh, the movement of the video, how much it changes. But right now I'm just putting these ones because these are the only ones that I want in this specific video. So translation Z means uh, how much uh, zoom in I want the camera to move inside uh, on the Z axis. So if it's 0.1, I'm zooming in very, very slowly. Also, if I want to make a very fast movement inside, it can be one, but I want a very, very slow movement inside. Uh, seed is just a number that influence the AI algorithm. Okay, so here I'm going to write whatever I want to see on the first frame onwards. So SKS dog is my token. I always have to put this in order to see uh, the model I trained. And then what I what I want to see inside. So I can make like SKS dog um, flying in space on a pizza space ship. So this will be my first frame. Now I want the uh, next part will be, for example, frame run 100. So I'm going to put 100. Then, for example, 
Uh, SKS dog again, it's my token. Swim, swimming in a pool filled with marshmallows. Yeah? Is this how you write marshmallows? No. Marshmallows. Okay. Then frame 200. 200 will be SKS dog. Um, just resting, resting, actually sleeping on the grass. I can also add some um, for some descriptions of the style. So here I can make it like Picasso style. And here I want to make this uh, surrealistic. And this I want to make um, hyper realistic, let's say. Okay, so as you, as you can see I have frame 0, 100, 200 and if I finish it with 200 then the last frame I will not see it. So if I want another 100 frame of what's going on here I can make a copy of that and put like 300 here. So the last 100 frame would be of this description. So now I'm gonna generate the image and we'll come back to the video after the video is ready. So the video is ready, let's check it out. Uh, by the way, if you want to download this video, you can just right click, save video as and save it on your hard drive. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoy it, and if you have any questions or something that you want to tell me, please feel free to write in the comments. Uh, also, like, subscribe, the whole shebang. Cheers!